Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to make a resume website with WordPress. So let's begin. Alright, to make a resume website on the WordPress, first of all what we have to do, we have to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. And here if you haven't installed the Elementor, so you're gonna simply install the Elementor here. Alright, so as you can see here, we have the Elementor at the top of the search. And you can see here, I have already installed and activated this. And after this, what do we need? We actually need to install a second plugin, which is actually called Starter Template. You can see here, we have the Starter Templates at the top of the search. So we also have to install and activate this, which we have already done that. But if you haven't activated both of these plugins, then what you need to do, you can simply go inside the Install Plugins. And here you can simply activate them together by just uh, clicking on them and you can click on the bulk action you can click on the activate and you can simply click on apply this would activate both of your plugins here okay and all we need is both of these plugins and one thing that we also need to have is we're gonna go inside the appearance and we're gonna go inside the themes so in the themes you actually have to install and activate the astro theme so that is already done on my side but if you haven't done this what you need to do you're gonna go inside add new theme and here you will simply search for astro theme most of the time you're gonna see this uh, without searching it but if you don't see this you will simply write down the astro and you can see this at the top of the search okay so we have to download this and activate this so you're gonna see the option of install just like this on your astro theme then you can simply activate it uh, so we have to do these steps uh, before going into the starter templates okay so after completing all of these things what we need to do we will need to go inside the starter templates and in here you can simply click on build with templates and you can simply click here on the elementor and now you can see we are having a lot of the different templates here now we have to look for the templates that would look like a resume or cv kind of a website so for that we don't have to uh, go through all of them if you want to go through all of them you can simply uh, go through them and you can also see one of the examples that we can have a kind of resume like or the cv like website so this is the one but if you don't want to search through all of these uh, templates you can simply click on the personal website and you can see the option of the portfolio in the cv then you can also go for the photographer so if you are kind of a photographer uh, you can go here the photographer category then we have the artist and we have the author and musician so right now i'm going to simply click on the portfolio in the cv and in here you will be able to see a uh, different themes here so you can see this so we are having this theme here uh template which is a kind of resume like and i really like this one and we also have this one we have this one for the photographer then we have this one then we have this uh, portfolio in the CV then we have the photography portfolio again then we have the designer and then you can see here then we have the resume like for the traveler so you can actually find a good number of templates for resume like website here so you can simply pick any one of them whatever you like and then you can simply use it on your WordPress website and then all you need to do is to update your data into it okay so I think I actually like the one that we have here the visual artist portfolio so I think I would like to use this one and if you want to go through the other ones you can simply click on the artist author musician and the photographer but I'm gonna go here with this one so I'll simply click on this one and I can upload uh, my logo here if I wanted to but I don't want to upload anything here so I'm gonna simply keep it simple then we have the phone pair so if you want to change the phone pair you can simply change this from here you can see this we are having this different uh, phone pairs so I think I would actually go here with the first one now I'm gonna select the color here so for the color I think I would like to go here the purple color or we have the green we have the blue color so I think I would go here with this color and now I'm gonna simply click on continue and now let's click on continue and click on skip and continue then just submit and build my website and then we just need to wait for a few seconds depends on the speed of your internet uh, then we are good to go our template is ready all right so now our website is ready so now what we need to do we're gonna simply click on view your website and here you will be able to see our resume website here okay on the wordpress so i think this is looking perfect this is our recent projects section 
and here you can add the images of your project here you can add a more description about you whatever you like to add here on this section on this section and after this you can add the detail that with which client you have done with if they are a really popular companies or something like this you can add the logos here then you have the testimonial and after that you have your email and then you have your footer okay so how can I customize this based on my requirement? I think it's pretty simple. Uh, what you would need to do here, uh, you will simply go or uh, you will simply jump into edit with Elementor. And by this way, you would actually go into the Elementor editor on our template. Okay. Now what you can do, you can simply update the data the way you like it. Okay. Or based on your requirement. So you can see this, we are having these uh, different containers this is the first container then we have these different containers if you scroll down then we have the project container so basically you can customize anything here whatever you want okay so let's say that i want to change this that i'm not a visual designer i am actually a kind of front-end developer front-end dave or the developer okay uh, i think this would be fine or i can change this as the web developer that would come up on the space that we have so i'm going to update this as a web developer then i can change the location here obviously i'm not in miami so i would update this let's say uh ca let's say california or any place whatever you like so i'm gonna keep it as miami right now then what you can do you can simply update your image here so for that what do you need to do you just simply click on the image uh click on the choose image and from here you can choose for any image here whatever you like okay so let's say this uh, i don't have any images right now so i'm going to simply go here with this template image and i would click on select and this image will be updating okay so this is how you can update your image and after this you have this uh, text here scroll to continue so this is actually the icon box so you can simply change the text here or the title here if you wanted to and you can also change the icon here so you can see this we have a lot of the different options for the icons so let's say that i would like to change this into this one so i'm going to simply click on this one and click on insert and there we go but i think the previous one or the default one was looking better but i will just keep it like this and along with this you can see this we have the social media uh names so we have the behance we have the dribble we have the linkedin so basically these are the icon lists so in these icon lists if you wanted to add any link here you can simply add the link of your profile here let's say on the behance you can add the link of your profile uh, of your behance let's say on the dribble you can also do the same thing then we have the linkedin as well and if you wanted to add one more uh, let's say if you wanted to add the instagram as well you can simply add the instagram here so i'm gonna add instagram here and i would actually delete the icon because i don't need that then you can also add the link here as well okay and in the same way we can change the numbers here so if you want to change the number here you can simply do this here you can uh, change your description here whatever you like to add here and here we can also change more description about it then we have more about me so whatever you like to change you can simply change this okay not only the text you can also change the styling here okay so if you wanted to change the styling i will simply go into the style and i can put them into the center I can put them onto the right side i can put them justified i can put them to the left side whatever i like okay and then we have the option for the typography so in the typography you can change the font family you can change the size of the font so right now you can see that we are having 32 px so if i change this you will be able to see we are having the different value here on our phone side so we're gonna go here with the 32 then we have the weight so if you want to change the weight of it you can make it look bold and you can make it look uh let's say uh, you can make it look uh extra bold or the thin whatever you like so i think right now i would like to go here with a uh, semi bold here then we have the transform option then we have the italic so if you want to make them look italic you can also do this but i think i would go here with the default value then we have the decoration then we have the line height so we have these different options that you can uh that you can basically play around with your text okay in terms of the design and after this we are again having the text you can do the same thing uh, that i have defined you uh, with the text then you have these images so for the image you can see this this is actually the image box so in the image box if you want to change the image here 
you can simply change the image from here so let's say that i would pick uh, maybe this one or we can go here with this one this is already in there but so let's just go here with this one you can see here i simply change the image but i think i would go here with the default one okay and in here you have the title for it you have the description for your project you have the link for it so if you wanted to add the link on it you can simply add the link then we have the other projects this one this one so all of them are actually the image boxes okay and if you wanted to add the border to it so you can also do that if you want to do that okay so let's just try to give it a border here so we're gonna go into the style and we can go into let's say uh, we can go into the content okay so in the content we don't see any option for the border uh, but i can border the container on which we have this thing so we can do this but i think i would like to skip this at the moment uh, okay and after this what do we have we have our other projects so simply you can change the images text and the description and after this you have your third section so on here you can update your detail we are having this border which is looking really good and we also have this animated border kind of a thing so if i just click on this one i would go into this style and i would go into the border you can see this we have the border word so if you want to change the value here you can simply uh, change the value here but i think i would go here with the default value whatever it is you can also change the border type so you can make it look double you can go here with the dotted and you can also go here with the dash and the group so it's on to you okay but i'm gonna go here with uh solid then what do we have then we have the border color so if i want to change the border color let's say i want to go here with a kind of grayish color okay so i think i can go here with this grayish color and after this you can see here we are having this border color so if i want to change this i can simply change this here uh, then we have the box shadow so if you want to add the box shadow or the border radius we can also do this then we have the shape divider so you can also add this if you wanted to but i think i would go here with none i don't want to add any shape divider perfect and then what do we have if i scroll down you can simply edit their text here you can add the icon here if you wanted to you can add the icon here if you wanted to so basically this is the icon box so similarly we have this section again we have the text we're gonna work in the same way for the text then we have this logos which are basically the images so in the images you can change the width you can change their height you can change their opacity and you also have the border type and the border radius here so you can simply work on them then you have this testimonial so if i just click on this one and if i just click on this section here you can see this, this is the container so in the container i can change the width value i can add the min width then we have the direction for the items uh, justify content gap and additional information and if you go into the style you have the background you have the background overlay then the border and then the shape divider so you can adjust all of these things if you wanted to so if i just click on the image i can simply change the image from here so i think i would go here with this image at the moment so i can simply update this i can change the testimonial text here so this is basically the testimonial block uh, you can add the image if you wanted to you can add the name it you can add the name for it then the title then you also have the option for the link then you can export the options in the style and after this we have our email here if you want to change the value of the email you can simply do it okay this is how you can actually build a resume website in the wordpress so right now i'm going to simply publish this and i will simply click on the preview here and you will be able to see our resume website here okay and if you wanted to add the more options on the navigation menu uh you can simply do this okay so how you gonna add the navigation menu options you can simply go into the starter template let's just close this and we're gonna jump into the dashboard of the wordpress here we need to go into the pdfs click on the menus and here what i need to do i'm gonna select the primary menu here click on select so in the primary menu you can see three options we have the home we have the work and we have the contact so let's say this i wanted to add a kind of portfolio or the testimonial okay so let me just add the testimonial here so i'm going to create the custom link so in here i'm going to add testimonial id here i will simply add the text here add to menu and in here i will need to do one thing here i'm going to go down to our testimonial container which you can see here i'm going to go into the advanced settings i will add the id here the css id and i don't need to add the hash here so let's click on publish again and i think i need to save the menu here first okay so so i've saved the menu 
I think I would need to refresh this. Now you'll be able to see the option of the testimonial. So when I click on the testimonial, it will directly jump onto the testimonial section. Okay. So in the same way, you can also add the options for your uh, for your clients and for your portfolio and you know for your description. So whatever you like to add there. Okay. So this is how you can also link your mini options to the different section as well. So this is it for this video. And this is how we can create a resume website in the WordPress. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.